Hey what's going on guys, in this video we are going to see how to solve an exact differential equation. Here we have an exact, we don't know yet but we have to prove this is an exact. But before we do that, we have to make sure this is in standard form. Now the standard form of an exact differential equation will look like this. We will have m of x comma y dx plus n of x comma y dy that should be equal to zero. Now if you look at this one, here we have that pattern, right? So we don't have to rearrange or do anything. Now from this one, we, we have to figure out which is, which is m of x comma y and which is n of x comma y. The one in front of dx is the m of x comma y. If you look at this one, this is the m of x comma y in our case. n of x comma y is the one in front of dy. So this is the n of x comma y. Now the next thing is, we have to take the m derivative of partial derivative of m with respect to y and also we have to take the partial derivative of n with respect to x and see whether these two are equal then only this is exact otherwise this is, non, this is not an exact differential equation so we will stop right there now let's go ahead and see whether these two are equal now the first thing is we are going to find out what is m y m y is we take the partial derivative of this function with respect to y we treat x as a constant when we do that so if x is a constant and here we take the derivative of y, it's going to be what? 4 times 2, that's 8. 8x y cube. 8x y cube. This is the partial derivative of m with respect to y. Now we have to find out partial derivative of n with respect to x. When we do that, we treat y as a constant. So this 4y cube remains the same. And we have to take the derivative of this x square, that's 2x. 2x multiplied by 4, 8x, 8x y cube. 8xy cube and when we do the partial derivative with respect to x sin y this is a function of y this is a constant so when we took, take the derivative this is going to become zero so that's going to be add, addition is going to be zero so we can just leave it like this now from this one you can see these two are equal so this is an exact differential equation now after we find out this is an exact what we have to do is we have to equate this function this m to a function with res like the derivative of function with respect to x is equivalent to this m of x comma y m of x comma y which is equal to 2xy power 4 and we have to equate a function of derivative with respect to y to n of x comma y which is equivalent to 4x square y cube minus sine y now the next thing is we have to keep one of these, keep one of these and I am going to integrate this one with respect to x. This is going to be a partial integration because here we have to find out that function f of x, y is the main purpose. That is if you integrate the, that one you will get that function. If you integrate this one with respect to x, this is the function we are going to integrate with respect to x. We treat y as a constant so this is going to be what? x square divided by 2 multiplied by this constant we can just write it like this 2 pi power, power 4 my integral x dx if you do the integration you will get 2 pi power 4 x square divided by 2 from this one 2 2 cancels we will get x square times y power 4 so this is a function of x comma y we got rid of this derivative partial derivative okay so this is a function of x comma y but here I have to do one more thing. I have to add a constant. Okay. So here I have to add a constant but the constant should be in terms of the uh, function of y because we are doing the integra integration of this one with respect to x. So we have to add a function that should be a function of y. Now this is the f of x comma y. Okay. Now this is the one we are going to express finally. But in order to express this one, first we have to figure out what is this h of y is. Otherwise, we cannot express the final answer. Now, in order to find this one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the derivative of this one with respect to y and compare with this one. In that way, we can find out what is this h of y is. So, when I take the derivative of this one with respect to y, this is going to become what? Here we have, so when we take the derivative of this one with respect to y, we treat x as a constant. So, x square remains the same and then 4y cube so 4x square y cube and this 
h of y becomes h prime of y since we taking the derivative this is going to become h prime of y now if you compare this one and this one here we have this one right here 4x square y cube 4x square y cube the only different thing is we have minus sine y here we have h prime of y so from this one we know that this h prime of y must be equivalent to this negative sine of y negative sine of y so but here in order to express the final answer we have to find out what is h of y here we have h prime of y it means we have the first derivative so we have to integrate this one to get the h of y so when we do the integration with respect to y both side this will become h of y and if we integrate sine of y that's going to become negative cos of y since we have negative already negative negative cancels each other we will get cos of y and also we have to add a constant now we are set now we can express our final answer that's going to be f of x comma y that is equal to let's put on c1 the constant so f of x comma y that's equal to x square y power 4 instead of this h of y i replace that one with this that's cos of y plus a constant now when we express the final answer we shouldn't include this function we have to express in terms of constant now if we express this one in terms of constant in, if we move this c1 to the other side we we say this is like let's say like this x square y power 4 plus cos y and finally we express that the whole thing is equal to a different constant okay and this is our final solution of this differential equation and that's how we do that and in case if you have initial value problem sometime you will get some initial value problem let's get rid of this one for example initial value problems will come like this okay so we, we will have something like y of square root of 2 over 5 square that's equal to 5 something like this this is the initial value now from this one we know this is the x value when this x value y is equal to 5 this is our y value all we have to do is just plug it in this equation and solve for it now from this one x square is going to be what square root of 2 over 5 square square and then y power 4 is 5 power 4 actually this one multiplies multiplied by 5 power 4 then plus cos y cos y is 5 that's equal to a constant now square root of 2 square that's going to be just 2 and then 5 square power square that's going to be 5 power 4 multiplied by 5 power 4 and then plus cos phi equal to a constant now phi power 4 phi power cancel each other so we will have 2 and cos phi is equal to negative 1 is equal to c from this one c is equal to 1 so this is going to be the particular solution of this differential equation and that's how we do that i hope you guys find this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe and also if you want to watch more videos on differential equation it's in my playlist you can check it out and see you next time.